so before I go on, everything in this video is allegedly. All right. Um, so it's time to give you people another court recording of Bob Risky when he was in detention. Now, this one has a lot of details. This one is well detailed. So now we'll see how everything plays. You understand? Not the part two of the other one. Mm, this one is another one. Now, this one was recorded on the 16th of May, 2024. Now, the reason why I want to post this one now is because, to be honest, I was waiting for people that said they want to file a lawsuit to file the lawsuit. The ones where they say he made an innuendo, he did this one, did this one. In all honesty, yeah, I was waiting for that. But as nobody don't send the paper here, yeah, maybe they will send them tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Uh, they will send them today. Today is Monday. You understand? But before they do it, let me post. Now, now no law, now no know you know endo. My own be say the corruption that went down in that prison must be unveiled. And anybody that has a hand in it must be casted. You understand? For those that have reputation that their name is involved, it is easy. Just clear yourself of this thing and penalize whoever is spreading rumors with your name. If it is rumor, that is if no be true. You understand? So all those talk of this thing, you people don't scare me one second. I swear to God Almighty, I am not even scared. I look at the whole thing and I'm like, okay, let me see what they are trying to do. When they are done, we'll continue what we want to do. You understand? So, truth is, if you want Nigeria to be better, you won't respect nobody. I swear to God, forget respect. Nigeria can't be better if we keep on doing all selected criticism. Is that what it is? But anyways, let's start. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello, hi. Bob, how you doing? I'm okay. Uh, you know, are, are you out yet? I'm not out yet. Oh my God. Okay, so quick, but I don't have enough time because, you know, mm. I just had to, I can't really, I don't, the reason why I'm even trying to talk to you about this is because obviously I've not been talking to anybody, I've not been, mm. people have been sending me so much messages about I've not been responding because I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. Yeah. So I'll do uh, First things first, I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. That is why Bob Risky have not been responding to people sending him messages. But let's continue. So I don't want to talk to somebody that I know that uh, I can trust. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, uh, obviously, you knew, you knew what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> before the EFC, they, of course, they were investigating. They were investigating me, mm. you know, about the cars, money, and everything, all this well. So I knew one day, one day, they would come for me like this mm. because of the noise and all that. But it's, it's fine. So when they were investigating me, they blocked my account. They freezed my account. Obviously, they don't want me to do any transaction on it while they are doing the mm. their ongoing investigation. Mm. Okay. Now, before we continue. The revelation of EFCC in the House of Rep, EFCC said they never froze his account. Now, Bob is saying his account was frozen. Let's continue. So, but I'm so glad that they did not. At first, they added money laundry charges in, yeah. their, in their charge because of the money they saw in my account and all the money that passed through my account, at least. They were so, they just saw so money share. But well, we're able to beg them mm -hmm. and we'll give them some money so that they can drop the money laundry charges with this. Mm. Now, he said they saw some money in his account and some money that passed through his account. So they investigated him for money laundry. But they begged and they paid the FCC some money and the money laundry charges were dropped. This is another recording entirely. So let's continue anyways. I can't be facing money laundry charges. Go for pity. Mm. You know? Spring of money. I don't say that one. I, I just that time, they're looking for something to just hold me. They yeah. just eat that. Mm. It's not like I'm the only one that spread money. Yeah. There are a lot of people spraying money out there. <laughs> like, but you choose, you want to uh, convince me because mm. of spraying money. And um, that's quite weird. Mm. But you no, know, me, I'm strong. And I'm ready for anything that comes my way because. 
I don't know. I don't know. No, obviously, I knew the O N V A ATAR. Shana only arm. Shana only arm. I knew one day, one day to get to this, you know. But, and but, another thing that made me happy was the fact that they did a proper investigation on me and they noticed that I am not into money laundry mm. and I'm not into fraud. Yeah. Every money, the car, they came to my house, they carried my car now. They carried my car, they carried everything, you know, because they were doing. They, they thought coming to me, they will see people I do business with. So EFCC went to his house, they carried his cars. While we were out in the house of Red, EFCC said they did not freeze his account. Now, Bob is saying his account was frozen and EFCC even went to his house to carry his car. Let's continue. This ring lights, bless you, don't they go. WhatsApp or an email. But it's also that they were not able to find any, any of such. My money is legit. I keep saying this thing, but people don't believe. They keep, they think I'm into fraud or I'm into picking money for politicians or whatever. But they run a proper checkup and they couldn't even find any of that on me. All the money I have. This same person that is saying that they saw some money that passed through his account. Do you understand? After saying the truth the first time, like saying don't know, saying don't cast. He concretely tried to the correct what he said so in one breath you're saying they saw some money in your account that you paid the fcc in another breath you're saying oh the money that you're having is legit money but let's continue anyways all the money i have are genuine and the sources are are like most of my influences you know like that, that day i called the old man wants to pay me ten thousand um, pounds and i think that it's for it's for influencing so you know like people they, they don't know how i charge i charge a lot of money for influencing they don't know you know so but i made them to understand that i charge as far as hundred thousand dollars to influence hundred thousand dollars for influencing then the hundred thousand dollars for influencing is cfcc will not go really even nana i'm really curious of the amount cfcc saw in this account you understand? Ah, okay, let's go on. So, if you think you cannot do it, all fingers are equal. If some other people do it, and trust me, God bless, God bless the also. Mm. So, you know, they did all that, and obviously, I met a very terrible judge. The judge wasn't coming. The judge wasn't there as well. Coming, coming. He's not there. Okay, can you excuse me on the phone? Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, coming, coming. That means Bob Risky obviously had like a maid, like somebody helping him in the house. Obviously, this part you will know that he is not in prison. But the good part is that the person now asked him. Let's continue. Um, where, where are you like this? Um. Um. Church I don't want to lie to you. You're my person. Mm. I'm not in prison. But I'm around there. They, oh. they go in my apartment, oh, you know, okay. because of my godfather. Mm. My god, my godfather was able to tell you, never, you will not see other prison. Let the world think you are different, but you will never, mm. you know. So I was able to talk to the deputy um, controller in Nigeria, and they said that in as much as Bob is not, Bob is not, they only have a problem with Bob. Bob is not posting anything, Bob is not saying anything, Bob is not doing anything. That they can put me close to the place. So I can always come inside and see people as I see I'm welcoming my family. Yeah. That nobody needs to know. Do you understand? So you know I have So basically Bob was put outside the prison, close to the prison in an apartment. So anytime he has like a visitor, he will quickly come inside the prison and welcome his visitor and his family members. Now I remember that when we were at the House of Reps for the investigation, one of the prison wardens said, oh, he has the list of the people that came to visit Bob. So basically anytime that Bob, people want to come and visit Bob, they'll quickly tell him to rush and come back to the prison to come and see the people that want to visit him. Let's continue. So I'm, I'm just close, I'm close to the premises, but I'm not in that because they are all scared of why do, why do we want to put you in a new facility where you know they are scared of um, harassment and everything so so but nobody knows this information it's just you 
So yeah, that's a that's that's a side there. Secondly, uh, my life, my grandfather has done a lot. That's why I don't want to call it for any more requests because putting me out here alone in this apartment, I am well furnished apartments. 